Hello everybody, this is David and I show you the events. In this tutorial I will show you the subclip and the subsequence. The subclip, first of all, is a very nice tool when you have a longer source clip and you want to pick a bit from here and there. For example, you have a tape full of material like 40 or 60 minutes and you just want to pick an interview and or a specific picture out of the material in the subcode. For example, we have this material here. This is a basketball film and uh, about newcomers in basketball. And I just go quickly through the material. So you have a overview. It's a lot of stuff. So, and I just pick some scenes out of here. For example, this scene where all the guys come out of the room until yeah this hit great and now I want to pick this specific scene out of the material I click here on the create sub clip button and drop it to the bin it's automatically named its basketball sub 03 and you just rename it for example basketball intro so and you see here this icon is a little bit different to the other icon so you see just with the icon it's a subclub you can also re uh, recolor it so it's you have a better overview you can pick another scene maybe here just doing some sports Zack, 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 Yo, perfect. And again, bang. And uh, call it basketball, Mr. X. So, and change the color. You don't have to change the color, it's just for my overview here. And you can just open it, the subclip, and it's like in a usual clip, as you see and no other material in it. Now I just select some part of it and import it in my timeline as usual. You see here's the name basketball intro like I named it. So it's just in there. Very easy to handle and you have a good overview. Now very important also not just for subclips but good to know is the use of the match frame. You find the match frames, um, the match frame on your command palette, and uh, you find it with others, and it's here, match frame. Just put it on your keyboard wherever you like, or like here, uh, like here, put it in a button in your timeline, and when you click it, then have a look. First of all, I go to the material of the subclip directly to the position I'm here in and when you do it a second time you come to the original clip to the basketball clip so you see back the original clip very important keep it in mind this is the match frame so and when you have uh, your timeline here full of material like you know it here's your intro here's your Mr. X, and we have uh, also a title, um, and yeah, here is written snail, but it is the right title, yeah, because it was uh, a copy of the original title. So now I have the material and I have the title here, so I put some quick transition to it, just as an example. So, and now I show you the subsequence, because now I in and out, or maybe I go here, go here with the in, select all the tracks, and now I click make subclip, and this button makes 
a subsequence out of this sequence. And it's renamed after this uh, sequence. You can double click it and then you see it's only this part I was selecting. You know? And now you can also just drop this part in here and you have a view of your subsequence. And of course you can select your subsequence like like a clip easily. And now for example go to the sequence and import it here. So that's a very nice move when you have a big timeline and when you want to arrange a lot of tracks and so on. And you have an easy um, overview and you should uh, put this button on your keyboard or anywhere where you like it. And uh, for example, I have it on uh, my keyboard. It's on the selection of Shift, Alt and C. Yeah, push it, you see, it's, um, directly here in the source viewer and I can do whatever I like or, for example, import it here, as you see. So, that's very nice, keep it in mind, be happy to use it and do great films. See you next time, yours. David.